Hello and welcome to this tutorial on compiling for the Microsoft HoloLens. Uh, this is going to be a very basic tutorial about how to set up an empty Unity scene uh, for the HoloLens and actually how to compile remotely to the HoloLens. So uh, the first thing I need to ha show you here is essentially what you have to do with the HoloLens. So I'm going to bring this, um, this window over here on the screen. And uh, this is just sort of a view through my webcam. So when you're working with the HoloLens, there's essentially a button right here on the back. So I'm looking at it from tied at the top down. There's a button right here that you press and it goes ahead and wakes up. And then you can look through the lenses and actually uh, watch it boot up. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is actually get into Unity now. All right, so I have Unity 2018.3.6 here. Um, and one of the things we have to do right away is create a new project. And I'm just gonna call this HoloLens Basics. Okay, create project. While we're uh, waiting for Unity to get set up, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a web browser and we have to do a couple things on the HoloLens. The first thing we have to do is actually locate the IP address of the HoloLens. So let me get it set up here and I will show you kind of through the screen um, how to find that uh, IP address. Okay, so with the HoloLens on, you have to do a gesture uh, called Bloom to bring up the start menu. And what we're doing here is we're actually trying to find the, uh, st the uh, IP address of the HoloLens on the Wi-Fi. So you have to do that with your hand. I call that Bloom. And let me bring it up here on the screen for you. <laughs> okay, so what you do to find the IP address is you do that Bloom effect like I was showing you here with uh, your fingers. And then you look for settings by moving your head and putting that dot on the settings button and then you create an L with your thumb and forefinger and tap and release and that brings up the settings menu and then from here uh, settings will actually for you most likely look like look like this okay so what we're gonna do is go to network and internet and then from this menu you want to actually tap and hold and go up and then you're looking for hardware properties and then inside of here we need to make note of this IPv4 address so 149.162.133.205 okay so then you come over here so once you have that IPv4 address which is the IP address of the HoloLens on the system uh, you open up a web browser and you type that IP address in the URL bar and it's actually going to connect to a website that's hosted on the headset. So I'm going to paste it in here, hit enter, and then you're probably actually going to find um, that it comes up with uh, the connection is not secure. So you just say advanced, um, add exception or proceed if you're in Chrome. And then it's going to ask you to log in. And if you need this login information, you can contact the ABL at vizhelp at iu.edu if you're using one of our HoloLenses. Okay, and then you're going to basically be given access to this um, developer portal here. So this is the HoloLens's um, information, the cooling, the battery, the power, everything's here. If we go to views and twirl that open, there's a 3D view that lets you actually see sort of the uh, translation of the headset and the rotation of it. Um, we can also do a spatial map, so if you hit update, you can see the spatial map that's constructed of my office here. And you could even save that out and put that back into a Unity project and work with it. Um, mixed reality capture is another useful um, thing. You can actually record what you're looking at and then um, download the files here. Or you can do live preview so that other people can see what you're looking at. Okay, so that's the live view of what I'm looking at through the webcam on the HoloLens. All right. Now, the main reason that we need this is just for diagnostic purposes. 
right now, but this IP address will be important later. So I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this and we'll come back to it. I'm going to stop the live preview here. And uh, now we'll get into Unity finally. So in the Unity editor, one of the things we have to do is convert our camera to actually work with the HoloLens. But uh, the HoloLens is basically just a, a black background because it's it, the black is transparent to the projectors that are in the lenses of the HoloLens. So we can just take a regular main camera that comes with your sample scene and actually convert it to work with the HoloLens just by changing the uh, background color to be uh, black. And then we have to set the, the, the background to be, instead of this skybox, set that to be a solid color. And then now our camera just sees black. And uh, just to make things easy on ourselves, I'm just going to go ahead and create like a cube or a sphere, sorry, and just put that out in the environment. Okay, so that at runtime will show up like about right there in front of the hollow lens, and then it will stay there persistently as our, you know, as our head looks around the environment and uh, naturally. So now we have to actually convert this project to work with the hollow lens. So you want to open up build settings. So you go to file, build settings. And uh, we're in the sample scene that comes with the open basic project. You could make another one, but I'm just going to add that one. And we're going to be developing for the Universal Windows platform. So we need to click that and then choose Switch Platform. So then once that's switched over, we have to set this to have a target device of the HoloLens. We need to change the architecture to uh, x86 and the SDK version to be the latest installed. And the rest of it's fine. So now you got to hit player settings. And then over here on the right, we need to go to XR settings. And then there's a checkbox here um, for virtual reality supported under the XR settings. Check that, and then it should automatically recognize Windows Mixed Reality. Okay. And then it changes a few things to make it work. All right. So finally, um, we can't just build right away um, if we only have. Uh, the free copy of Visual Studio Community installed. We have to modify the Visual Studio Community. So go to your start menu or wherever you can get to your apps and look for Visual Studio Installer. Okay. You'll have to have admin access to run this. And what we're going to be doing here is modifying our copy of, of Visual Studio. So I have Visual Studio Community 2017 here. I'm going to hit modify. If yours says update, go ahead and hit update and let it do its update. And then once you're in here, you're going to see all the different components that are installed. So by default, if you installed uh, Visual Studio with Unity, you're probably just going to have this checked, this game development with Unity, and nothing else checked. Um, to work with the HoloLens, you actually need to have Universal Windows Platform Development checked, .NET Development checked, and uh, that should be it right there. Um, I think in certain cases you might need the C++ so you can put that in there and then you actually just hit modify down here in the bottom right and it will go ahead and start um, the operation of downloading and installing automatically for you this may take um, several minutes to actually get complete okay so now once you're convinced you have the correct components here in the Visual Studio installer you can actually close this and we'll come back here in Unity and um, if you go here to your uh, target SDK version and you don't have like one or multiple of these types of numbers here for the SDK version, you should probably uh, close Unity and restart it just so that it links up with the SDK versions. And I think this is pretty much it. So we can actually build this out um, from Unity. So it's going to automatically go to our Unity project and our assets folders here. And this is like what Unity has in you know in its contents as far as to use so we want to make sure we don't put it inside of that assets folder but a, like right here next to it so we're gonna make a folder and I'm just gonna name it HoloLens app okay and then build into that directory and what this is actually doing is generating a Visual Studio project and um, from here, you'll be able to um, open Visual Studio and then compile it remotely to the HoloLens, and that's what we're going to need that IP address for that we got earlier. Okay, I actually just remembered something. I made a mistake, and this is something that I run into a lot. So 
Um, we did. I set the scripting backend to be the wrong scripting backend, and that's a setting we have to do in player settings. So if you do this, um, just like I did, you have to basically just delete everything in the folder here, because you don't want any of that left over um, when you compile the correct uh, scripting backend in there. So let's do it correctly. So I'm gonna hit player settings, go to other settings, and then hit uh, scripting backend.net. Okay, the HoloLens uses a .NET backend, not C++, so um, now I can go ahead and build to the same folder that's empty. Okay, now that it's built, it opens up the uh, location of the folder. I want to go inside that folder and select the, uh, the name of your project .sln, so HoloLens Basics for me .sln. Double click that, that's going to open up Visual Studio. Now, if you've never opened Visual Studio on the system you're using, it wants you to log in. Go ahead and log in with your IU username. Uh, just type it in like it was your Microsoft account, hit tab, and it will let you actually log in with uh, central authentic authentication. So my Visual Studio is already logged in, so it's just going to get to this view. And all we're going to do here is just build to the HoloLens, but there's a couple settings you have to set. So first thing we have to do is switch this debug to release build. Um, the uh, chipset platform we're going to use is actually x86. And then we're not deploying to a local machine, but we're going to deploy to a remote machine. So you want to select that, and then this remote connections dialog comes up. And this is where we want to put the IP address that we wrote down earlier. Okay, so then you hit select. And then now's the time to build. So we go to debug, start without debugging. Okay, and what will happen is during this process, um, if you've never built from the computer you're using to the HoloLens that you have, um, the HoloLens may want to give a pair code so you can pair the device. So I'm going to show you where you can find that while this is building in the background. So I'm going to bring up this uh, the Mix Capture website here. Go to Live Preview. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. So at some point, like I said, if it wants a code to make the pair between your computer and uh, the HoloLens itself, let me get rid of the start menu here. You go to the settings window, and specifically you want to go to update and security. So I'm going back on the window, okay. I want to bring this down here so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Update security should be in the bottom left. And then once that opens, um, you're actually going to go to the area that says for developers. And then you'll pinch and hold and then scroll down. And then you're going to see a button down below here that says pair and unpair all. So I'm just going to choose pair, and it'll bring up a code that we can use. And uh, if your system needs that code, that's what you type into Visual Studio here. So once you do that, it should finish compiling. And you can see down here below, it's saying copying files, 84 megabytes to layout. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring over the screen again for you. I accidentally closed that. so. Let me do this. It hasn't quite launched on the HoloLens yet, but it's actually going to copy the whole app over to the HoloLens over Wi-Fi. And you should be able to see that sphere pop up right in front of me. So I'm going to look this direction. There we go. Made with Unity right there. And we'll just keep an eye out. And there's our sphere, and I can walk around it and it'll stay locked right in that specific spot. Okay, and there we go. So that's it, that's actually all there is to it. Just making sure the camera is black, setting those settings the way we did, building out to Visual Studio after it's been updated, and then uh, being able to find the IP address of the HoloLens. From there, um, I'll recommend that you can look um, for the Holo Toolkit out online. Toolkit, 
this is something that's on GitHub. You can download this. It's a Unity project. And um, so you just hit here, uh, download zip, and they actually go ahead and um, unzip this and open it up into Unity. And then inside of their inside of their Unity project, you'll find that they have a folder called a Mixed Reality Toolkit Examples. And then inside of that, they have demos. And these are all like Unity um, projects. So like input, if you wanted to get worry about um, dragging and dropping, um, drag and drop examples, they have those all in there. And there's also examples for um, doing spatial awareness, um, user interface, utilities that go along with the HoloLens. So a lot of great stuff in there, and I encourage you to take a look at it. They, they continually update it all the time, but it is officially made by Microsoft here on GitHub. All right, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you need help from the Advanced Visualization Lab for augmented reality or virtual reality development, you can contact us at vizhelp at iu.edu. Thanks. Bye.